Jagadish Kumar recently purchased an orchid called Cattleya Maxima variety Cerula. Now, before making this video as per requested as an update on my Cattleya Maxima singular, I didn't ask permission to include his beautiful specimen Cerula in this video. So I'm going to link that video in the description. Go check it out if you would like to see a stunning, beautiful specimen Maxima in bloom. So Jagadish Kumar also asked me to do an update on my Maxima. Well, as is the case when these kinds of videos come up, I thought I was going to do a little bit more than that and show you all my Maximas because with the exception of one, the rest were gifts. We might as well update everybody on how they are doing. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for joining me on an update on a Cattleya that is very, very close to my heart. This is my Cattleya Maxima, the standard variety. She has bloomed for me. She's my OG in the collection. She is absolutely one of the top five. If I had to give up everything, she would have to come with me. C or C. There is no way I'm going to get rid of this Maxima unless she decides to leave the collection for an unforeseen reason. But we won't go there. Anyway, what is interesting about this one is that, and this is what I was trying to explain to Jagadish Kumar in the comments. My Maxima has two flushes of roots, depending on how you want to see it. I am going to clear the table from all the little ones, which we'll get to after we finish with the fully grown Maxima, and I'll update you on the little ones but I wanted to visually show what I was talking about. Now, this is not the variety Cerulea, this is a standard one. However, it is possible that all Maximas behave the same, but maybe not all behave the same because I have a Cerulea. It is a seedling, but I've noticed a little bit of different behavior when it comes to the root system, which was something that Jagadish Kumar addressed and we discussed. So the growth that you see right here, that was the one that she started growing Huh. just as we are heading into winter last year. So it grew very slowly, didn't have much light, but she's got buds in there, so we may get lucky with some blooms. And now the summer growth is right here on her second lead, doing fabulously. Hopefully that will bloom for us as well. If not, as per usual in my collection, just live. And she's working on the next growth right down here, which is also another summer growth. Thankfully, that is going to mature right on time before we head into winter. Going to get plenty of light, possibly no blooms, because we're going to go into colder temperatures. And usually she blooms around end of September, mid-October, something like that. I doubt very much that this growth is going to reach maturity as well as bloom for us by mid-October. But you know what I always say? any new growth that doesn't bloom, it will provide roots. The beauty of this orchid, and that's another reason I adore her so much, is the fact that, as I mentioned, there's two flushes of roots when it comes to this Maxima. First of all, depending on how you want to see it, which comes first, the chicken or the egg, la di da, that kind of thing, I call a second flush of roots when the back growth, when those roots start to branch, okay? So this is the youngest growth before this one popped up, it started to branch and also extend new roots when this one started to swell and emerge, all right? Now, what will happen is also this growth will also produce its new roots, but only once it is fully matured, and that is then the second flush of new roots. Yes, it pertains only to this growth, but it is a second flush in my opinion, because the orchid extended and increased her root growth while this growth was just starting to move. The same with this lead right here. I'm not trying to confuse you. So depending how you see it, even though the new growth is not growing its new root system, the back growth, the most recent one, its root system flushed out again. And even though there's plenty in the pot from when it grew its own roots, it is actually building an even bigger root system to support this growth. Do not confuse this root as coming out from this growth. It's not, it's coming out from the back, okay? So that's what I mentioned in the comments. Maxima has two flushes of root growth. One flush is the original pertaining to the actual growth emerging from the base of that growth. This new growth were to then grow its next new growth its root system that has grown will flush out another set of roots and branch in the pot. Okay, this is my current status quo on my Maxima, doing really well, she's alive. 
Here is my itty bitty little Cerula. <laughs> no comparison to yours, Jagadish. <laughs> Again, that video is linked in the description, but here is mine. And I got this one from the Orchid Room back in 2020. So if the Orchid Room ever stumbles across this video, it's doing fine, Ariel. Growing very, very slowly, but we have a nice little new growth here. And this is what I wanted to point out to you, Jagadish, because we just saw the classic Maxima. Here's a variety of the Cerula. And the growth is actually growing its own new roots. What I mentioned to you when it's like three quarters of the way mature. So whatever happened to your orchid, whatever stress it may be going through, you can see how my cerulea is reacting and I'm sure that yours is going to be absolutely fine considering how huge of a specimen that you have. My little one, we've got a long way until she blooms. Just so happy that she's still in the collection. All right. Also from the Orchid Room, but in conjunction with Melissa Walker and Michael McCarthy, this is Cattleya Maxima Alba, and I got her in 2020. Her, even though there's two, because when I went to transition her into LECA and self-watering, we had a little, you know, stowaway. We like to have two in one pot. This one is taking forever to actually increase, improve, and grow. I've only ever had three leaves, but I'm going a little bit along the route of Michael McCarthy. I'm really fertilizing a lot heavier, even my seedlings this year. I've been extremely conservative. So this year, this one has been getting 200 parts per million as opposed to 100 parts per million. But at least her little root there is actually absorbing water. Just that one little root, but doing great, I would say, considering how long it is taking for this one to get its grow on. <laughs> So here's the larger of the two, clearly doing fabulously, has not been repotted since the transition. And honestly, there is no need to repot this orchid for a foreseeable future because I put her in the middle of the pot. Yes, when I can avoid it, when I can see what's going on and I have the right pot size, I pot my orchids into the middle of the pot so that I can leave the orchid for as long as necessary without wasting space and everything looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So here we are. I think the last time we saw her, we were missing a growth, which is this one. So we've got another new growth here. It had a beautiful lead here, which is now the one that produced the root system for the winter. And the second lead has activated. And as you can see here as well, Jagadish, while the second lead has not yet grown its own root system, the back growth has extended its own root system. So I'm hoping that is understandable what I'm trying to point out here. My early example with my little Cerula, that could be behavior because it's a seedling. I wouldn't say that this one is any larger. It's not in my juvenile category yet, but it is behaving with two flushes because the next thing that's going to happen when this growth matures, I'm going to get another new root system while this one will be branching. All right, and here is Cattleya Maxima, another one from Afri Orchids, but actually from Matt by Nature, who was so kind and generous to send me a division of his. Now, this one looks a little bit odd because, well, it is suspended up above the media. It is very low in the pot to amp up the humidity, suspended above the media, because I'm trying to encourage roots to grow into the pot. I'm also wanting to observe the root growth of this orchid because there's some little things that I think are a bit sus here. This orchid wants to grow really well. So many new growths coming out when it arrived in my collection and then roots would fail as they started to grow. And that is not because of the low humidity, because I had the orchid set way, way low. There's approximately 90% humidity in and around the base there. So some roots were failing and the growths never really grew into anything where I would say, yup, it's starting to make sense. It's as if this orchid is completely confused, doesn't know whether it wants to grow or go, but I'm seeing superb potential here because some roots have gone into the pot. I took pictures. It's going to show much, much clearer. 
but I have got roots to grow into the pot, into the media, and they are hydrating beautifully, while other parts are just frazzling out. And I'm not going to jinx it, I'm not going to say it, but you know, I'm a little bit sus about this. So this orchid has been soaked in the Bactophil product that is antifungus. It's also had some Fysan treatment, as in a soak as well. Now I've had this orchid for over a year, and I have to say that these soaks there's only been two of each since I've received it because I don't want to burn anything that is actually trying to grow. But I'm extremely encouraged by what I'm seeing now because there was a little winter growth that grew and it managed to stay. And then the next growth that is growing, it's also looking like it's going to stay. It's looking normal. I see some gorgeous roots flushing out for root tips. I'd like to keep them that way. And another growth is on the way again. And as is the nature of this orchid, since it's been my collection, it's chucking out new growths everywhere. It's just like indecisive with what it can actually deal with. And of course, my fertilizing is extremely conservative here because I cannot burn the roots that I do have. So it's a little bit of a dance that's going on, you see. It wants to grow roots, then the roots stop growing. I flush what I perceive to have in the pot, just raise the water level up with plain, clean RO water, let it sit for a while, then I drop the water level. And if I'm not filling the reservoir, I am misting the surface. And this is a first. I have never lifted her up. So we have just discovered this together. That root is viable. And now I know that it's there. I'm also going to fill in maybe 100, 150 parts per million of fertilizer just for like a soak on that root. <laughs> Take it out and replace with plain RO water. So this one has been, even though it's just living indoors, very protected, gets a lot of light. But this one has really been babied simply because I feel like it could collapse on me in any given moment. And I really don't want to do that, especially seeing as it's a gift, as are all these. And even though the growth progress has been extremely slow, the fact that we've got progress, that is the key word. So to all of you that have gifted me these orchids, thank you so much. I hope that you're happy with the progress that you're seeing. To Jagadish Kumar, thank you for requesting an update. I hope that with a little bit of elaboration, show and tell, I could show you what I meant about two flushes. If my comment sounded like I was talking in circles, <laughs> which can easily happen. And well, we are on bud watch. Hopefully that sheath, that bulge is going to progress so that we at least get maybe two or three maxima blooms for the year of 2023. Jagadish Kumar, I want to say thank you so much for your request. Your first ever comment on the channel and boom, here we are. Here's your update. Let me know if you have any further queries after you've seen what you've seen and heard what I had to say about all of this. I appreciate your support on the channel, Jagadish. And you who watched, whose name is not Jagadish, but you're here watching, I appreciate your support just as much. My Maximus would appreciate it if you would give this video a like. It would also be awesome if you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. All of that goes a long, long way. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though. Please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.